Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you are doing well. And it is time for a little EP review of this project from Jockstrap, Wicked City, a little collection of songs that I have been enjoying quite a bit. Now, if you are unfamiliar with Jockstrap, which I imagine uh, many people may be at this point, they are a London music duo featuring Georgia Ellery and Taylor Sky. This EP is on Warp Records. This thing is effectively the duo's follow-up to a small batch of tracks they put out in 2018. And Wicked City, in my opinion, is a beautiful, intriguing EP that is, uh, while enjoyable, still a bit hard to make heads or tails of. Just take the first two tracks alone, the song Robert to kick off the EP featuring none other than Injury Reserve. This thing is a dark, groovy, stone-faced, freakish, glitchy banger with some deconstructed elements as well, deadpan lyrics, tight pitch-shifted rapping. The piece essentially moves from one disorienting section to the next, but still stays energetic and engaging throughout. Honestly, it sounds like I'm listening to a bizarro 100 Gex or something, a negative 100 Gex, if you will. Then there's the following track, Acid, which total, complete, and utter 180. It is a straightforward, gorgeous, and lovely ballad in 3-4 time, with cute keys, sweet bass, beautiful Baroque string bits swooping in here and there. The singing even takes a more angelic tone, too. Again, total contrast from the intro track. The setting of this, the vibe of this, seems like it's more fit for, uh, I don't know, an old-school prom or a ballroom, but there are some weird sonic treatments and effects thrown onto the instrumentation here and there to make it sound a little subversive and experimental. So it's it's not like they play it that straight. So this, in my opinion, is a lovely tune. It's a nice track. It's just hard to believe that this and Robert came from the same artists. But going forward through this EP, this sound, this sound from the song Acid is sort of the predominant style of the rest of the project. You have these simple yet elegant pianos and vocals on the song Yellow and Green which play out what sounds like a Victorian-era parlor song. That's what it sounds like to me. But with some more subversive effects and electronics being woven in here and there just to add some extra character and texture, there is a similar set of influences on the track The City as well, but they play out in a very different fashion. The gentle pianos and vocals that kick the entire track off remind me of something out of a Julia Holter song, but way less spacey, more raw, more naked, more upfront. And it's a fine tune, it's pleasant on the ears, it's enchanting in a way, but then there is a point around the middle of the song where it suddenly transitions into (laughs) lots of glitchy, disorienting electronics, banger beats, and avant-garde poetry too. Compare the first 30 seconds of this song to the last 30 seconds of this song, and it's a total mindfuck. It's crazy to think that these two sounds exist on the same plane of reality, much less within the same 4 minutes and 43 seconds. The song City Hell is a somewhat grand and glammy finale for the entire EP. It is a very showy, theatrical tune with impassioned lead vocals and shredding guitar leads, more piano, more electronics, and percussion, vocal manipulations, and synth patches that sound like something out of an early James Blake project. And those are all the tracks on the EP. I liked every one of them. Uh, There wasn't a single dud on the entire project. I think that Jockstrap sits at a very, 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 very interesting creative crossroads because I can't think of a lot of out there in modern music right now that's quite trying to combine the sounds that they are combining on this EP. I just hope that going forward, they stay creative and maybe discover a way to create a bit more of a cohesive marriage between these uh, opposing sounds in a way and make them complement each other a bit more. I mean, granted, I have heard records in the past that have such uncomplimentary sounds, they're tacky and terrible to listen to and awful and just straight trash. And while uh, 
uh, this type of balladry and these glitchy experimental banger left field out there electronics, somewhat deconstructed too, they don't exactly make sense together on the surface. I think Jockstrap is close to making them make sense together, or at least they're doing one style just as much justice as they are the other style. So as they switch off, it's not that disorienting, I suppose. I, I guess, again, I'm just looking for maybe a bit more cohesion or uh, a, a bit more harmony between these different ideas that they're playing with uh, here and there going forward. But regardless, I still thought this was a really enjoyable collection of tracks, and Jockstrap is undoubtedly uh, one of the more interesting and exciting up-and-coming duos in music uh, right now, just based off of what I'm hearing uh, from this. So uh, give it a listen yourself. Give it a try and see if you uh, are enjoying it or are intrigued by it as much as I am. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Jockstrap, Wicked City, forever.